Here, look at this, look at this, look at this. Awesome. Hey, welcome back, Patriots. It has been heating up here in Illinois. We went out to do some bass fishing up shallow the other day and we weren't able to connect with bass, but what we were able to do was salvage the day with a specific bait. I'll put a link to a review of that bait down below. Let's get to work, let's catch some crappie. Here we go. Well, let me tell you how excited I am. Not. Nah, it's 94 degrees, so I got long sleeves and I got to cover my face because I'm going to be standing in direct sunlight. And this is definitely something that we're going to have to figure out if we're going to move to Arkansas. So it's going to be hot, but we're going to start with the jerk bait that's been working. I'm going to see if we can make something happen. Let's get to work. We're going to cover up our face. Man, it's hot. We're going to start to just work our way down here. I just saw a couple crappie busting right here next to shore. So, Lots of panfish and bream up in the rock, super shallow. Visibility is a couple feet, it looks like. Two feet. Okay, well, we're looking for bass, so. There's all kinds of fish super shallow right here. What is this now? They're like bluegill in inches of water. Look at that, look at all the ripples. And there's just ripples everywhere. Look at them all sitting under there, bluegill and crappie. Watch for poison ivy. No, please come free. Okay. So I have a thought. It's been 20 minutes. I got 40 minutes. I got no follows, but I've seen a ton of panfish. Some of them got to eat, right? One of the things I keep with me at all times is a mule jig, which is a small panfish swim bait. Let's switch to that and see if we can make a day out of this here. Let's see what happens. All right, so take a peek at this little dude right here. A 10 pound test is probably a little bit heavy for this type of a presentation, but it's gonna help it sink and it's gonna be invisible because it's fluorocarbon. So that should actually help me get it down a little bit and be able to move it a little bit faster. So let's just start casting into these rocks where all these panfish are and see if we can get some a little bit off the edge to go for it and make a day out of it. Oh, first cast. Rick's gonna be figuring out how I can actually cast it down the shore. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Okay, crappie. <laughs> crappie on the change, he's a little guy. We're gonna just put him right back. But they're all up here. I'm gonna cast it about out at a 45, or try to. Let that sink for a second. Give it a little twitch and then start retrieve. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a better fish. Another crappie. A little bit better. One, two, three, four, whoops, and retrieve. Yep, he got a little deeper, a little bigger fish. Nothing huge. Take it, we'll take it. It's been three minutes. The mule jig saving the day here. One, two, three, twitch, retrieve. <laughs> Next cast. 
Oh, loads of panfish. This is gonna be good. Okay, buddy. There's some big ones up in front of me and they're sitting in the rocks, so. I got some dudes sitting right here that are just. That's a black crappie. Look at the difference. It's either a black crappie or it's, oh no. No, I must save you. Okay, let me see you swim. Swim, swim. Good boy, okay. A lot of crappie over here where there seems to be more sticks. Over here, there look to be a lot more bluegill. Yeah, look at that guy. Very cool. Whole bunch of them. Little ones though. Let's go a little further, look for some of these, some bigger fish. So note to self, do not use with 10 pound test line. Very hard to cast. There's a better one. He engulfed it. Absolutely engulfed it. I'm gonna need that back, partner. <laughs> so we go from 94 degrees and nothing to some crappie. I'll take it. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Well, let's keep making our way down and see what all we can connect with. This has gone from a pretty rough day to pretty sweet. Good one. Yep, another one. All day, man. I would do this all day. I love pan fishing with these swim baits, little mini micro swim baits. See a partner? I love it. It's amazing how small a bait these fish can pick up. You know, you feel like nobody's ever gonna see that, but they do. Just like him. Just cast and retrieve. Straight retrieve with a couple of twitches. Set them right off. Fantastic. Got him, got him. See a partner. Well, oh, got him on the got him on the pop on that one. Yes, sir. Nice. Got him right on the pop as it was dropping. Beautiful fish. I catch these buggers all day if I could, but pretty much out of time that might be the biggest one today good one good one Good boy. I am out of time, but I don't want to quit. Let's go over here because I want to get out off in front of this. 
There's a whole boatload. Big catfish just swam out of here too. He's sitting in like two inches of water. What the heck? <laughs> Whoa. You get it? You got it? You're good? You're good? All right, one or two more and then I gotta go. Oh, I don't wanna go. That is a nice, oh, what are you? Bluegill? Bluegill. Pretty one. Look at the purple in there. Sweet. I know there's a bunch of bluegill further down, but I don't have time to explore looking for them. Man, if you got the right tools for the job, you can take a crummy day and make it something fun. Awesome fish. Thanks, partner. You're my last one, partner. You're my last one. Look at how stretchy that plastic is. You need to see how stretchy that plastic is? Look at that. It's stuck on his fin and in his mouth. All those fish were caught on a single plastic. Yeah. Almost went in. The moral of the story is, if you go bass fishing and you see panfish of any kind busting up shallow, make sure you got some mule jigs and donkey tails in your backpack with you. So you can change it up. If the bass aren't going, make a change. See what you can catch. All those fish were just caught in 20 minutes. And if I had more time, probably could have found some bigger ones too. Keep that in your bag of tricks and it will come in handy. Godspeed, patriots. See you next time. Thanks for hanging out. Later.